Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 4th, 2022. Welcome to yet another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather outlook as well, world weather, earthquakes. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, still a pretty active sunspot region in an earth-facing position right now. As well, coronal whole wind stream we are currently experiencing as it has been facing for the past three days. Looking at incoming imagery here. Small flash coming from the cresting fiery sunspots. Coincidentally, right at the same time that there was that C-class solar flare yesterday. Looking at outgoing imagery here. Plasma filament staying on the surface, right-hand side there, and is stretched across our sun right now. So heads up and be ready. Another quick look at the active sunspot regions right now. Two cresting and two that are Earth-facing. See that? They shot out at the same time as that C-class flare as the cresting one in the northern hemisphere. Looking at multi-spectrum here, showing all the most recent events of the last 48 hours on our sun. As well, 171 angstroms showing the now turning away coronal hole. And it does not look like there are any more developing around these sunspot regions. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, still showing that C-class solar flare. Looks like it will be arriving March 8th into the 9th. Watch for a small geomagnetic uptick. Looking at Alaska 2, showing our sun for the past 24 hours. Last image there, just a little bit of something there. Real-time solar wind, very jagged and sporadic today, sitting at about 430 kilometers per second right now. But it jumped up to about 481, topping out. As well, look at the flip-flop in the phi angle blue. That is evident of a coronal hole wind stream. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 9. Amplitude of 9 and quality of 6. So that is a nice even flow frequency looking across the world the last 24 hours for earthquakes it's been pretty quiet we're sitting at about 260 across the usgs map around the world and on this map not much has changed since last night's update largest being here 5.4 in kimbe papua new guinea 158 kilometer depth that is as well the deepest earthquake that we've had this 4.2 was late last night. Kermadec Island still seeing some activity, 5.1 to 5.0. Indonesia, westward from Timor-Leste, 4.2, 4.3. Notable 4.8 here, very close to Krakatoa. As well a 5.1 here in Archipelago. That's, no, oh, sorry, that was reported yesterday. As well, Congolo, Dematic... Democratic Republican, 4.3, and as well, 3.7 there, South Africa. A couple earthquakes here to report in Iran, 4.4 and 4.4. 4.4 here as well, Italy, 173 kilometer depth, right by Etna. We're going to have to keep an eye on Mount Etna. 5.0 there, South Sandwich Islands. Not much has changed since last night through South America, North Central America, and way too quiet up into the North American plate. Largest being a 3.1 there, Nevada. As well, minor activity through Hawaii. Having a quick look around the world, the last seven days for Shakers.
let's have a quick look here at all of the lows and highs across North America as something dramatic has happened here. We've got about six lower level lows wrapped up amongst that large low over Salt Lake City. Really warm conditions moving into Colorado, even thunderstorm conditions. Colorado and Utah northward towards that center low. And that's all going to be tracking northeastward, bringing extreme weather southward and extreme weather conditions northeastward, seeing freezing rain, looking at quite a bit of snow that fell across southern Alberta and as well Saskatchewan into Manitoba, overlooking Australia, many high surf warnings, both east and southern Southeastern Australia, shorelines straight up to Bisland, Brisbane, as well. These are all flood alerts, green, right up into Darwin. Let's get to the, the five-day forecast brought to you by Ventu Sky and Daily Events Worldwide, starting out here, home base, Ontario. As, yeah, we have some really warm conditions coming for Sunday here in Ontario Northern Ontario, you will see snow. We could have some thunderstorms moving in for Sunday. Southern Ontario, but on the backside of this system, it's still very cold. So watch for snow. Watch for all that to turn into snow come Monday, Tuesday. As well, watching Monday into Tuesday, a big system coming out of central United States, heading towards northeastern parts. Long line of moisture there and most likely will bring some extreme storm conditions. Overlooking the west, you've got a low pressure center that's going to be grinding down behind the high pressure this week. And it's going to bring a dusting of snow through parts of Alberta, as well higher elevations through BC and Washington. Overlooking Europe, Still expecting that pretty big system and very strong winds heading into Ireland, the United, King, the United Kingdom. And then watch for this system to really organize itself as it almost beelines for Iceland. So Iceland could have an extreme weather event on their doorstep, very strong winds and blizzard-like conditions. Quite possibly rain before it changes to snow as well. So heads up Icelanders. As well, watch for that line of moisture here wrapped around that huge low to stretch through the United Kingdom into Friday and Saturday. And then something notable here, next Thursday into Friday, watch for a pretty big system here to develop southeastern United States riding the coastline, but literally sitting like a vacuum, sucking out all the moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. Huge atmospheric river of moisture developing for next week heading into the Atlantic but it's also going to be wrapped up with a very big and cold low across the northeastern Canada overlooking South America daily evaporation rains no major systems except for through Argentina you could see some hail and severe weather northern parts daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through parts of Colombia, Bogota, and as well Venezuela. Overlooking Africa, east of Madagascar, you still got that system that I forecasted a couple days ago. It is still forecasted to head into northern parts of Madagascar. And then it's just going to grind down the coastline here before it finally makes landfall. A very interesting trajectory for that system as it ramps up for Friday and Saturday with Madagascar. Overlooking Australia, Indonesia. Pretty dry for Australia coming up this week. Or sorry, next week. But this weekend you still do have some heavy rains heading into parts of Sydney. And as well as I noted earlier, high surf across most of southeastern Australia. Quick look overlooking the Pacific, watching a pretty big system coming out of Japan, going to bring a lot of snow to Kamchatka, 
as well high pressure ridge off the coast of BC will finally move south here in the next few days. Going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Showing the projected forecast for low pressure systems across the northern versus the southern. As I said, atmospheric river of moisture for parts of the northern hemisphere. And some strong cold lows spinning around the, the Antarctic. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.